Hey y'all, it's Ebony. Welcome or welcome back. Hope y'all are doing okay today. So, today I have another video to add to this apartment move-in um, series, if you want to call it that. Um, as you all may know, apartment shopping is a long process. It just takes a long time to find things that you want and to, to have the money to buy the things that you want. And y'all, this ain't no joke. It's so expensive. This if you did not know, this is my third apartment. This isn't my first, but that doesn't mean it gets any cheaper. My goodness, I'm like, every day I, f I think of something else to buy and it is really, it's really exhausting, but I'm trying not to be, you know, Miss Negative Nancy and I'm trying not to deprive myself of things that I want or in some cases need just because of, you know, a price tag to it. Wait, that kind of sound wrong. I do want to be mindful of the things that I'm buying, but I don't want to, you know, restrict every single purchase that, you know, I want to make. Let's just be clear on that. But I did get some things both Saturday and today, which is Monday. So I want to show y'all that. All right, so without further ado, let's get started, y'all. All right, so the first item I want to show y'all is this black and white collage collection set that I got from a store called uh, World Market. And um, this store, it has a whole bunch of furniture in there. There's some clothing pieces, um, just things like that. This was a little pricey. This was a little pricey. This was $19.99. And yeah for some prints i think that's pricey because um i do have some prints in my living room and y'all would have saw those in my last apartment if you watch you know any of my previous videos and what i did to get those i bought those off of etsy and you get like a pack of them for i don't even remember probably like 10 bucks or something like that but you do have to print them yourself through a different um company so I guess maybe it kind of works out in the end, but I don't know. I still think for some prints, $20 is kind of pricey. But you do get seven in the pack, and they're of various sizes. I have two 11 by 14s, three 8 by 10s, and two 5 by 7. But again, this was from a store called World Market, and I got this on Saturday. And then at World Market, I also got this little macrame, and... I'm really happy with this because I've never had anything like this, but I do see them online often. And I don't know, I thought this one was cute. This one was 25. And again, that was a little pricey, but I think for the material, this metal material right here, I think it kinda is worth it. What y'all think? Yeah, so I got these together and I did use a coupon. I was able to sign up in store that day and got a 15% off coupon on my purchase. Cause listen, that's one thing about me. I don't play. I'ma find a deal, I'ma find a coupon. That's just something that's in my blood. That's the Virgo in me. So I did get these two together and I think the total after tax and everything came up to 42 bucks. Okay, so today I went to Marshall's. Well, I went to a few stores today actually. I went to Marshall's, I went to TJ Maxx, I went to um target two different targets almost went to bath uh, bed bath and beyond but i said you know what i'm doing too much i went to burlington i went everywhere today but i only bought things from two stores yeah two <laughs> as a look at the bags okay so marshall's i found this sand and fog candle and i've been seeing this candle a lot online not this particular fragrance just the um brand and I think, I want to say they sell it at Target, or maybe I'm tripping, but I got this from Marshalls for eight bucks, and this is, what size is this? I don't even know what size this is, 12 ounces. And the fragrance is teakwood, and I, I love this smell. I always get mahogany teakwood from uh, Bath and Body Works, and I, the way I would describe this fragrance, it smells like a man. It just smells so good. It, it's like, I don't know. I'm not good at describing scents, but I'm just going to say this smells good. Also got this vase from Marshalls, and it says it was handcrafted in Mexico. I'm not sure if I believe that or not, but 
this was 10 bucks i like this i like that it's not you know just white i like that it's like rustic and you know it's imperfect it just looks i don't know i think this was real cool i like this and i i know where i'm gonna put both of those items as well well at least i have an idea of where i plan to put them but yeah those two were from marshall's then i went to target and i got some more face masks i need to actually get the um reusable ones because this is not good for the environment i do take the ears off before i dispose of them because i saw online once that it's better for um turtles or some type of creature is is better for them if you take the ears off because otherwise they get caught in them and stuff like that so i do do that but I still don't think that these are that great for the environment. But y'all ain't come here to look at that. Y'all came here to talk about home decor. So I got this um, oil diffuser from, what is this, Hearth in Hand with Magnolia. So what, this is part of the Magnolia collection. And I've never really been a fan of the Magnolia collection. While I do think some of the items are cute, I think it's overpriced, honestly. Um, but I mean, shout out to Chip and Joanna, their names. Yeah, shout out to them. Y'all got y'all a nice little brand in Target and everybody stands for it. But me personally, I've never really been too much pressed about it because I just think it's overpriced. But I did get this oil diffuser in the scent um, Sea Salt Bergamot. Y'all, when I smelled the candle in the store, that's how I, you know, you smell the scent. They have the matching candles in the store. Y'all, this smells so good. This smells so good. I would like, I was just gonna look at it and put it down, but I smell, y'all, this smell good. And this was 10 bucks. It was $9.99. So I felt like, okay, let me just try it out and see if, you know, this, this is something that I want. So got that today and then the final two items i got from target i'm gonna need to put my back into this one y'all hold on Ooh, y'all this is not too heavy i finally got two nightstands and they are just some basic white nightstands they were 50 dollars each at target um i ain't even gonna lie to y'all <laughs> let me put this down <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, these aren't the actual nightstands that I wanted. I'll put a screenshot of the ones that I really wanted, but I have white furniture in my room already. My dress is white, my desk, my makeup desk is white. And I figured that the nightstands that I wanted, it wouldn't look right. I, I felt like it was gonna look mismatched and like a little tacky, just with all those different things in here like that. Although my bed is gray, um, I just felt like it wasn't going to look right. So I decided to stick with white, and these were $10 cheaper than the other ones as well. Um, and plus the other ones, I would have had to order them online, and I didn't want to, honestly. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I was kind of thinking, do I even need a nightstand? I'm like, is, is a nightstand worth it? Because, listen, I be wanting to save money, and I know I just went on that spill at the beginning of this, but listen, I was really questioning whether or not this is something that I needed in my room I was at one point I'm like okay should I get one do I even need both of them I should just get one but I went out and I bought both I'm just hoping that they look right um and I'm hoping that they are what and I'm hoping that they I'm just hoping that they look right. I don't even know what else to say. Now, I do want to mention, like I said, everything in here is going to be white except for my bed now. So, I do think that's going to look a little odd. So, I plan to balance that by getting some more, you know, pieces like this. Not necessarily a vase per se, but just some pieces that aren't white. So, I want to get some blacks, maybe even some silvers. I'm kind of iffy on that color, but definitely I want to get some blacks because I think all that white is going to look kind of tacky. So that's it for this video, y'all. Um, I didn't get too much. I just got things that I felt like I need or things that, you know, I really didn't want to say no to. <laughs> so um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I hope that y'all stick around for any other apartment home decor videos that I have coming in the future. Like I said, this process is not going to be a quick one. Um, I plan to be buying furniture probably till <laughs> the time my lease is up, probably till I move out. So 
I'm excited and I hope y'all are too. And until next time, y'all, peace. So I'm down here because I felt like if I stood up, it looks weird. So I'm on my way to Home Goods, even though I do not need to go because I do not need to spend any money because I'm saving for a trip at the moment. But I wanna look around and this might not be the best idea, but I'ma go. So anyway, here's my outfit. Not that y'all care about that though, but here's my outfit, here's my shoes. Um, what we not gonna do is wear shoes on my carpet. No, we're not gonna do that. I'm about to head out because I'm trying to be back because I gotta wash my hair. My hat look crazy, y'all, because I got these twists going on in my head because I'm about to wash my hair today. And yeah, it's giving, <laughs> okay? It's giving very much lump, lumpy what is under there, what, what's going on, but ain't nobody gonna be checking for me and I don't really care if they are, so. I'm dressed in all black, y'all. I look like I'm going on a mission for real. All right, y'all, let me stop talking because I gotta hurry up and come back. I made it, y'all. The plan is to walk out of here with nothing. I'm just here to look, I'm not gonna get anything. I'm just here to look, I'm not gonna get anything. So, ooh, looking crazy. Oh. So, Home Goods was a fail. I'm not surprised because Home Goods is always a fail. So, I'm about to go to Marshall's and see if I can find something, even though I'm not supposed to be trying to spend money. I almost, <laughs> I almost bought a damn basket in Home Goods just because. I hate going in stores and not getting nothing, but at the same time, I hate spending my money and wasting my money. So I guess that's that on that. But yeah, I'm about to go to Marshall's, see what they about. Okay, so I decided not to go to Marshall's like as I was driving and I'm at this place called World Market. I don't know if this is like nationwide or something like that, but um, they have furniture and then food. So it's like the concept of like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something like that, except without the clothes, I guess. Same concept of home goods, but maybe it's more like um, cultured, maybe. I don't know, but I'm about to go up in here and see what they about and see if I can find something, even though I'm not supposed to be spending money. So I caved and I got two things and I ain't gonna lie, it was a little pricey, but one of them I kind of couldn't pass up and then it was a 15% off coupon if I joined in the store today. Speaking of, y'all, I am the coupon, the deals queen over here. Well, not queen, I'm probably like a princess. <laughs> and 
I'ma find a coupon one way or another. So that's just the black bottom line. Okay, it's almost 12.30. I am obviously running late. I gotta go do my hair because my baby coming over later and I gotta clean, gotta be done by the time he get here. So, but that was a fun little trip, y'all. I'm gonna make my apartment look decent. It's gonna be a mix of a whole bunch of different things because I have no sense of decoration but we gonna do this together okay well kind of y'all see me do it <laughs> in Burlington right over there but I'm, I'm gonna resist the urge to go stop in there because I ain't got time